Hello everyone, Steve from Cantu Comics here. Today, I'm gonna to show you five ways that you can show off your comic art collection. So let's get started. So the first one that we're gonna talk about is public online databases, namely comic art fans. So on this website, you can upload your original comic art in a gallery form and you can organize it in different ways, you know, by Marvel, DC Independence. You can also sort it by, is it an interior page? Is it a cover, is it splash pages? Uh, so you can really tag it so a lot of people can find it, you know, within the collections when they're looking through it. So it's also a free website, so it's free to sign up and you can just get started right away. A really nice plus is that there's a marketplace on here. So that same listing that you put up there, you can just switch it on and just say, I'm ready to sell it and just set your price and people can start contacting you. So it's a really great way to, aside from showing off your art, you can sell it as well. So it's multifunctional. So the website is run by Bill, who is a main staple in the comic art community. And he's been doing a terrific job maintaining this website. Uh, I'm not sure if he's the only one working on it, but I mean, he's been doing a great, great job. And you know, for a one man show, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing what he has accomplished here. He also has a YouTube channel, and I believe it's like a weekly podcast as well, where he interviews, you know, artists, other serious collectors, and you know, they just kind of shoot the shit and everything and just, you know, discuss what's going on in the comic art community. Um, in addition, cause there's always uh, auctions that are popping up for comic art. So they regularly go over those as well and just kind of inform the community of what's happening. So the second method is actually a sub form of the CGC Comics website. It is a sub form specifically set for original comic art and it is a very, very active forum. A lot of the same people that are on comic art fans are also in that community and regularly people will make posts showing off some of their latest additions to their collections. And a lot of people comment on them, you know, and they'll, sometimes they one up each other, you know, it's a, it's a forum, you know, so uh, it's on the internet, so you're gonna have trolls too and everything, but uh, it's a really, really great place. And I believe Bill is on there as well. And uh, I've posted on there quite a few times. And sometimes I go on there where I had some original art, but I could not remember who the artist was. So, you know, I snapped some pictures, showed the, uh, the signature, you know, puts it on there. So, you know, a few people commented, but unfortunately no one knew who he was, but you know, it was definitely a great resource for me to reach out to see if someone knew. Also on this sub form, the artists are very active as well. So sometimes you can also, if you really wanted to, you could sell some art on there or you can connect with some people. So it's a really, really great way to show off your collection and also your presence in the community. So the third way that you can show off your collection is on social media, specifically Instagram. So Instagram has a pretty good following on comic books, comic artists, and even comic art. So many people that I follow, they also post their art. The majority of them are artists that, you know, they'll be like, oh, here's the latest artwork that I'm working on. Oh, this is for the, the variant cover for this book. You know, they like to show it off. At the same time, I mean, that's them directly communicating with the community. So even if you're in the market to actually buy it, you can just contact them directly through social media. And then all of a sudden, when you purchase it, you could just post it on your social media channel and be like, hey guys, this is my new piece from, you know, tagging the artist. So a good example is a, was a Green Lantern piece that I had a long, long, long time ago. And I made a, a video about it. Um, you know, I was talking about Tyler Kirkham and just randomly, he just posted a picture of that Green Lantern run. And he's just like, you know, and he, tied, he tagged um, uh, Matt Banning just saying, oh yeah, good times, you know, good memories, this and that. And I was looking, I was like, oh wait, that's from that run that I got. So then, you know, I tagged him on there just saying, hey, I got an art piece from that collection. You know, and I even uh, linked my my video as well, saying, hey, if you want to check it out, I showcased your episode. You know, and then he liked it and everything. And it's a great way to kind of reach out and, you know, just as simple as just commenting on there. And then that also leads to more content on social media. So at the same time, what I could have done was just posted my piece of that artwork and then tagged him and be like, oh, hey, this is the one that I mentioned. So I believe Instagram is probably the most active for it, um, but you can, you know, you could still use Facebook. There's still quite a lot of older people on Facebook. I still use Facebook. So it's, you know, it's a great, it's a great tool. Uh, I guess some of the younger artists, you can probably, you know, you can utilize TikTok, try and, you know, make some content around it. So the fourth way to show off your art is to frame it. 
So when you frame your art, unfortunately, you are the only person or whoever comes to your household, they're the only ones that get to enjoy it. But the best way, I think, to at least display it personally, aside from your binders, is to frame it. So I have my piece, I have showed it before on my videos. So this is my Fathom two-page splash here. So you can you can see that, uh, you know, it looks pretty cool. It's, it's obviously zoomed in here on the camera. I custom framed this myself. You know, I bought the mat machine and everything, bought the large pieces of mat, and I did, you know, make a little, little mistake uh, over here, but it doesn't matter. You know, I'm the one that's enjoying it. This way I'm able to enjoy, obviously I'm gonna keep it away from the sunlight and I have to preserve this as well. So this is also a fantastic way of showing off your artwork. So the last way to show off your original art collection is to open up an actual gallery. Obviously you need to be you know, a little wealthy and at least own or have access to a space and have a lot of art to, to even show off. You can't just open up a gallery with three pieces of work. You know, you, you have quite a bit of pieces that you can fill up the walls and some of the little center areas. It would actually be a, a really, really unique and great experience to really show the community and even just everywhere around in public just some of your collection and just the art of comic art. A great example of this is the Comic Art Gallery in San Diego. So this is actually part of IDW Publishing's offices. So they showcase a lot of actually Kevin Eastman's work in there and a lot of you know other artists from mostly IDW, but they do have some other original art pieces. So right now during the pandemic, it is still closed, but I personally haven't attended it yet. And I've been really, really wanting to, I just don't go to San Diego that often. Um, but aside from IDW doing that, obviously they have money that, and a space that they were able to offer this. Um, but even for like smaller people, you know a buddy that's like an artist or even just like a little art gallery and they, they need like a space for like a few months, you can always just ask them, you go, oh, hey, you know, I have a bunch of original comic art I can just display. And, you know, just to kind of show off if you just needed to fill the space or anything. So it's definitely a great opportunity to showcase the artwork. Also, if that gallery becomes very popular, you can probably sell some of the pieces there. So obviously you'd probably have to be there full time and there enough that there's a lot of people and interested parties coming to and from. And especially if you have pretty desirable pieces, you know, you're definitely going to gather a lot of attention and foot traffic there. So that's definitely a good way. So as a bonus, I have one more way that you can show off your original comic art. And what it is, is basically what you're seeing here. Create content around the art and your collection. You can do this with comic books as well, but for comic art, you can start posting it and like how, you know, I was kind of communicating with Tyler Kirkham, creating that can spiral into something or create a video out of that or any kind of experience or something from you know, this communication. So whether you make like a YouTube video or even a TikTok video, or even just like still images or, um, or even just shout outs or even just coloring the, you know, the, the pencils or something, not, not the color right on it, but you know, digitally color it, you know, it's a, it's a way to create content from your collection and to kind of show it off and be, you know, really proud of what you own. So you could also interview the artist. It could either be like a podcast or even like a YouTube video again, where, you know, you're like, hey, I got this piece of art here. I bought it directly from you. Let's talk about it. You know, and then he could talk about his stories. Like maybe it was like a, a really, it was a moment in his life or in their life where they were, they really, really, really loved this piece of art. Or maybe it was one of their early pieces, you know, and they were like, oh man, I was struggling. And I, you know, I remember drawing this and, you know, I had like literally just eating ramen, you know, and then now they're highly successful and this and that. So, I mean, it's, it's a great way, even though it's like, say it's like a, not even as an expensive a piece, there's still a story behind every single piece of art and creating content around that is definitely a really, really cool and unique way to really show it off. So what did you think of this week's episode? Do you agree with my methods or do you have better ideas on how to show off your original comic art? Definitely let me know in the comments below as I really like to engage with my community. So this is Steve with Cantu Comics, signing off.